care for the homeless. Together, we will restore our safety and security. Emergency rooms in California are overcrowded because people can't get appointments to see a doctor or a specialist. And the longer they wait, the sicker they get. Many end up in the ER. And that hurts everyone in California. Prop 35 will help solve the crisis by training more doctors and nurses to make it easier to get an appointment and get wait times down. Vote yes on 35 so patients get the care they need when they need it. In Washington, Mike Garcia looks out for himself. He doesn't get how seniors struggle to pay our bills. When Congress voted to lower the cost of prescription drugs, Mike Garcia voted no. Garcia voted against capping the cost of insulin. The big drug companies gave Mega Mike $75,000, so he sides with them. Now Garcia's working to cut Social Security. I rely on those checks. I'm George Whitesides, and I approve this message. I will always fight to protect seniors and Social Security. Right now, a three tragedy on Catalina. Five people killed in a small plane crash. What we've just learned about the fatal flight, who owned the plane, and what makes the island's airport so treacherous. Then it's sizing up to be the most powerful storm to hit the state of Florida in decades. We're tracking Hurricane Milton's path to landfall. And will the Dodgers come home from San Diego tonight still in the game, or are they done for the year? It's their last effort to keep their postseason hopes afloat. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Annabelle Sedano. Let's get right to it. We begin at 3 with that deadly plane crash on Catalina Island. Five people are confirmed dead. NBC4's McCollum Medina is live on Catalina Island with an update on what we know so far. Hi, Mac. Annabelle, I just lost uh, IFB with you, but I want to go on and quickly tell you what we know so far about what's happening here at Catalina Island. We do know investigators have yet to get to the crash site after they initially discovered it a short time ago. It's in a very remote area, but I did talk to a deputy who did see it from the air. Here's what he had to say. I did see it from, um, from the air. Uh, it appeared to be a, a white aircraft. It appeared to be uh, mostly intact. <laughs> All right, we're having some technical problems with McCall and Medina. We will touch base with him once we are able to connect with him. Now we want to go to Florida where Hurricane Milton is growing in size as it expects to make landfall tonight near Sarasota. The catastrophic storm is now a Category 4 hurricane. Coastline areas between Tampa and Fort Myers could experience up to 15 feet of flooding Storm warnings are in effect across the state. Many have evacuated from areas in Milton's projected path, and the airports in Tampa, Orlando, and Sarasota have closed. The hurricane isn't the only severe weather hitting the state. The National Weather Service says the storm has caused several tornadoes. This one captured in Broward County. Video from cameras installed on the International Space Station show just how massive Milton is. And we want to take a live look there as we know that Milton is making landfall as it approaches. Meteorologist Shauna Mendiola is tracking it all for us. And of course, those conditions. Shauna. You can already see the rain ahead of the center of the storm. Annabelle in Florida already ahead of what is to come. We already saw and heard about uh, tornadoes that have touched down throughout Florida. And just look how extensive the storm is. Milton continues to be very powerful. Category three right now with winds up to 120 miles per hour at a 15 mile per hour northeast progression, meaning it is jogging right along and making its track landing in um, the south of Tampa, probably around um, our nighttime evening here. Again, remember, Florida is about three hours ahead of us. So we'll be tracking this right around 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock our time. Once it does pass through Florida, it stays a hurricane. So although it weakens, it's still going to have those hurricane force winds. The flooding is going to be a big threat, and so is that storm surge we're watching for the west coast of Florida. So up to about 15 feet in some of those highest spots. And to give you some perspective, the screen you're watching, that's about 8 feet. So that water is going to come in 
falling from the ocean rise and really just cause a lot of flooding on top of what is falling from the sky. Uh, hurricane warnings and also tropical storm warnings for the entire state and the wind is going to be so strong that the entire state is going to feel some sort of strong wind. These winds will extend up to 225 miles. So that is again the entire state of Florida will be monitoring the situation as well as all these